Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are still on the topic linear inequalities. In the previous video, we took an example on word problems that involve the use of linear inequalities. In this video, we are going to consider another example. So let's look at our question for this video. When 5 is added to 4 times a certain number, the result is not more than twice that number added to 19. What is the range of values of the number? So you see, for inequalities, they will always be telling us to find the range of values. That is what we are interested in, the range of values, the set of values. Okay, so here, to find the range of values, you have to write the inequality for this expression or for this statement that has been given to us. The question is talking about a certain number. We don't know the number. So the first thing you need to do is to let a variable represent the number. So we are going to say that let the number be equal to x. So the number, we are going to say that the number is equal to x. So we are letting the number to be equal to x. So here we know the number. We don't know the actual number in a sense, but we have represented it by x. Okay, now let's move on and solve the question. The first part of the question says that 5 is added to 4 times a certain number. So in this case, the number is now x. So 5 is added to 4 times the number. 5 is added to 4 times the number. This means that we are going to have 5 plus 4 times the number, which is x. 4 times x is 4x. So that's the first part of the question. 5 is added to 4 times a certain number. The certain number now, the number now is x. So 5 is added to 4 times x. 4 times x is 4x. So 5 plus 4x. Let's move on to the second part. It says that the resource is not more than twice that number added to 19. Let's take it one after the other. The, the resource, what resource is it talking about? This is the resource, 5 plus 4x. When 5 is added 4 times a certain number, the resource, so the resource in this case is 5 plus 4x. That's why the question is saying now, is telling us that the resource is not more than, let's concentrate on that. The resource is not more than, is not more than. Now let's say that I, I tell you that I am not older than you. What does it mean? I am not older than you. Which that means that I am either the same age as you, we are the same age, or my age is smaller or lesser than your age. So my age is less than or equal to your age. If I tell you I am not older than you, what it means is that my age is the same as yours or my age is less than your age. So this statement, the result is not more than. What that means is that this result here is not more than, is less than or equal to twice that number added to 19. That number is now x. So twice that number will be 2x. Added to 19 will be 2x plus 2. So all that this statement is telling us that 5 plus 4x is not more than, which means that it is less than or equal to twice that number added to 19. Twice that number is 2x added to 19 is plus 19. So I hope that is clear. Let's go through it again. 5 is added to 4 times a certain number. So 5 plus 4x. The resource is not more than when when I, the, whenever you hear the statement, it's not more than. It means that it is less than or equal to. It's not more than. So it means that it is less than or equal to. The result is not more than twice that number added to 19. That number is now x. So twice that number will be 2x added to 19. So plus 19. So the expression that we are supposed to solve in order to get our answer is... 5 plus 4x is less than or equal to 2x plus 19.
So let's solve this expression. What do you do? Since we have this linear inequality, you group like terms and you simplify. So we have 4x minus 2x is less than or equal to 19 minus 5. 2x is less than or equal to 14. You divide both sides by 2 and you are going to get x is less than or equal to 7. So we can say that the number is less than or equal to 7. So any number that is less than or equal to 7 will satisfy the condition that was given to us in the question. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video where we will solve another example on word problems that involve the use of linear inequalities. Bye-bye.